Oh, um, well, my accomplishment so far is is the um, to beat Stitchy. <laughs> it's a big, it's a, a big accomplishment <laughs> for me to be, meet um, Lieutenant. And um, but differently still, one I one of my biggest accomplishment right now is the the, um, the art Basel in Europe. That was a big thing as the only and the first Jamaican to to exhibit in that exhibition this year. So it was really a, a big accomplishment. And then on my way back from 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 Europe, I met stitching in um in Miami and it just led to this big moment. This is like a monument moment for me. Alright, actually what happened now I was in Miami coming from Switzerland. I'm from the Art Basel and then I was um, in Miami airport waiting on a flight and then I saw a lieutenant. So I said, Lieutenant, you know, I want a picture with you and he said, Alright, listen, give me a minute, I soon come. So, you know, he went to the restroom and come back and then, you know, me and him was talking and I tell him that um, I was in Europe and doing this and he gave me a little clip on my phone, like, you know, Andy, Ray, Ray and that. Tell me some new thing where him, um, some endorsement, some endorsement they might come out with. But the thing about it now, Lieutenant is one of my artists from earlier year because he do a song named Night and Day, which I really like, you know, long, long, long time, years that. And so, I really like that song. So, I always follow him up and I follow him in different, even though when he become a Christian, he kind of really did mash me down because I said, but nobody else in a dance hall ever really bring that, that thing that away. So me and him start talking and then we start showing some of my work and then it just happened like that. While we were there in the Miami airport, you know, I was fascinated, you know, super by the fact that he was from Spanish town as well. So he's a Spanish town and, and we are from the same, the same city, the same town and he's also a big follower of the work. He was updating me and the latest thing that, 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 that I had out and, you know, he was really moved by it, so I went further and asked him to, you know, get a look at some of the pieces that he had that I was able to see. So he kind of gave me a prep from, from somebody and then showed me a, a vast amount of his work on the phone. Man, I was blown away. This guy was just so amazing. Uh, he, uh, as an artist, you have to understand that, you know, and when I say artist, I don't mean recording artist now. Visual and artist. A visual artist. Yeah. This guy was just absolutely the best I've seen. Um, I, I, I think he's not just the best, maybe the best in the world. And I'm not exaggerating. His work is there to substantiate this evidence. People can check it out and, you know, just search him on Google, you know, and look for Andy Ballantyne. And when I saw him, I said, wow, I was moved by it. So we, immediately we made a connection and we started rolling. We went and we had a meal and then we had a flight and, and we came down and when I came to Jamaica I saw some of his kids. There was a fruit that he, that he did with breadfruit and ackee and, and I said, no man. No, I'm tell, no, no, Andy, you can't leave with this. You know, I, I, somebody just purchased it right there and, and decided, listen, no, no, may I take it home and this is going to have to be in my house. You know, at least we met a real Jamaican artist. I mean, a real top of the top line, you know. And so I was fascinated by it. So that's how the connection came about. You know, we never had this in mind. We had a, we never had nothing in mind. You know, and then I was deciding to get my project done, my album done, and I wanted a painting. Uh, I had an artist working on it from France, um, but the painting that the artist sent um, was a little bit too dark, and I thought it was a little bit too gothy, and never expressed the kind of personality that I wanted to bring forward in this project so you know I spoke to him and he was working on another piece but then we realized that um, it wasn't going to come forward so let me say okay let me call Andy and you know talk to Andy I'm just re realizing that this no but Andy is very gifted why not speak to Andy about getting it done and then once I started talking to him the thing does click and he was waiting and ready to do it you know, as much as I was waiting and ready for him and, and ready to get it done with him. So the chemistry just was just seamless, you know, and, you know, we're working on this project for, um, for, for my next album, you know what I mean?
Well, honestly, um, is that when 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 Lieutenant contact me and telling telling me about the the vision we have for the project when we in the next big album, right away we can see it before we even start talk. Uh, we don't two minutes and it's like some example team. I know what you yeah, talk. I know yes. what you really want. I said that to him, big thick part for me. I know what you want, Lieutenant. I'm just saying something and him say, yes, something like this I really want, but you know. So but really why I really do it is that I'm feeling it. A lot of people come to me with um contract and consignment and I don't really feel it because people don't understand that sometimes it's more than money. You know, when 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 the when they when they and I and I think that I think that this is something that was destiny. This is destiny where Lieutenant and me and I was supposed to link up to do it, and the Miami thing was the the hope. The Miami the thing spiritual was spiritual connection, right? Was the hope for me and him to link up. So as soon as him, it's like I was prepared for hear him phone call, and when him tell me that we just started, and it, it never it never take us any, any any long time to finish it up. Quick, 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 and we just finish up the project. And everything that we had to say about the project was easily communicated. Because there was just the right spiritual connection. Right, and you know I can remember I can remember one morning Lieutenant called me and like say, go in the Bible and at a, at a, um, some chapter in the Bible and a particular scripture. Right. So when we read it now, we find out that is the exact thing on the painting. So we find out say this is really a spiritual connection where it just have to work. So you know, but even though I was in demand because I even pause it, pause. The ambassador, ambassador work, um, and um, different stuff that you already run. Several and, different projects yeah, that you were doing that just to get this done. To get this done because it was just like a spiritual connection, and I was really feeling it. But the other rest of stuff, them now, I just really finished them because you know me really have them and and, and, you, and, and you have the know, obligation and the responsibility to get right, it done. The obligation to, to get it done. So I just, but me really feel it. And as I say, Lieutenant was is one of my artists. I'm really from a long time so really yeah but I could I couldn't believe that even uh, um, an artist of his caliber was in Jamaica and was like a secret yeah, you know what yeah, I mean yeah, yeah. I, 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 no this is somebody who's supposed to be on the lips of every Jamaican those at home and even those in the diaspora the region supposed to know about this guy this guy is such a great guy and such a humble guy and I am not saying this because it, we are doing the stuff together when you look at his work you know the detail of the stuff that this man produced. This man is uh, extremely gifted. In other words, when I say in Jamaica, him not normal. The things not normal. Trust me. Yeah, because I put my when when I'm doing a work, I put my all in it. It's not like I just brush off something. I have to brush it off. I'm not gonna do it. And I know art too, you know, because remember, I'm an artist. I got scholarship to Jamaica School of Art when I left high school. Um, painting is what I used to do. That helped. Take it, it took care of um, my whole existence. You know what I mean? You say help sell painting to help make up pay my school fees and stuff like that. You know, it's written in my book and people can see it. So it's not just something that I'm saying no because I'm with the artist. This is something that I've always been involved in all the days of my life. You know, I just love art. So I'm saying I never knew that this guy was so uh, uh, such a gifted person was yeah. here in Jamaica that I could reach him. I, I was I, I was looking for somebody like overseas. Yeah, but, you, I, but you even went overseas and people was like, you need to find on the <laughs> budget. <laughs> yeah, 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 I spoke to a guy. And the guy said, listen, no, no. I tell him, I'm, I'm going to do a um, work out my, my album with a, with a painting. And he said, listen, no, no. Um, who are you planning to use? And I said, well, you know, I'm looking at the art. He said, listen, you're in Jamaica. I said, yes. He said, find a guy named Andy Ballantyne. That guy is the greatest in the world. <laughs> he said, me to find him. Right. To find him. Yeah, and, and, and I found out that he's somebody that has never met Andy yet. Yeah. You know, personally. But he knows of the quality of work that this guy does. You know what I mean? Well, honestly, um... It's not me behind that inspiration. It's like, all right, put it like this. Lieutenant have the vision for him want it. And it's like God just ministered to me as the artist. So I wouldn't take credit to do anything behind the, the inspiration. You understand? I'm just the person who God just put in that position to just minister to 
me as an artist. So him just come and him tell me what he want and the rest is history. He's not, I, I, I'm not the person who, who, who said put this here or put that there or anything. I'm just the one who just hold the brush and, and, and follow the guideline. Yeah, it was basically, because basically out of the scripture, you know, the morning when I called him, I spoke to him, you know, the scripture, Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 7 to 10, was a vision that God gave me the night before. And I, when I was discussing it with Andy, the following morning after the vision, it was the exact same thing on the painting that was just being demonstrated. So it was actually the scripture being demonstrated in a painting, pictorially, what was written on the pages of the Constitution. You know, others might call it the Bible, I call it the Constitution. You know what I mean? Right. You know, so it is one of, that stands for, on a, on a platform of righteousness. Because we're seeing so many different things that are not, uh, 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 we're seeing lies and falsehood now becoming the norm. You know, so, you know, we choose to stand for righteousness unconditionally. And that is what is being represented, you know, through the pages of the artist mind that God translate it into a picture that will be the cover of the album. All right, what I want people to take from this is that this artwork was done by a great artist. And if them, um, they don't have to see it now, but time will tell. Time will tell that. And secondly, I want them to know that this album um, is coming from a great giant in the music. And this is somebody who is not just a gospel artist. It's somebody who runs through the, the dancehall segment, build an empire in dancehall. And now he's coming to build that, that empire now in the gospel section of, of the gospel community and other part of the world so this is not somebody who's trying something so this is two great people doing great things so i just want people to to take that from this project well what i want to to to, to say from from this as well to add to what he's saying is that you know we're first and foremost you know an artist per se you know not locked into any one category or another but representing a platform of christ and, and sharing a message of righteousness. You know, from this artwork and this album cover, you will see that we are using the word as seeds of righteousness. I will go fresh and green in, the, in people's lives, you know, to cast and to tear down and to throw out and to build, you know, and to build and to plant, not to live in chaos. But everything that is negative, everything that is, you know, is, 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 is ugly and, the, and, the, and the, the vicious side of life, the message of ludity and and, and and degradation and disrespect in uh, right across the board you know you're supposed to be looking at this artwork and seeing seeds of righteousness being planted we're going into cities and into nations and kingdoms and we are setting new trends you know from what is happening here you would see that you know we are not biased against any one sect or individual we are speaking to all you know right across the board regardless of your ethnicity your color your class your creed you know, whatever your preferences are, it doesn't matter. We are speaking seed of unrighteousness to bring about that level of, of, of love that we need to use because that's the most powerful weapon we have and it's the weapon that we, we seldomly use. You know what I mean? Love. And to know that, listen, you know, we can love our brother, you know, unconditionally. And, and, and the same to our sister. And we can respect the Creator and love Him as he loves us unconditionally and serve him fully you know in spirit and in truth you know and that, that that's a message that we are that we are sharing you know one of relationship we're not spreading one of religion you know because even the very scripture says if anyone thinks he's religious and bragging at his tongue deceives his own heart and that man religion is worthless you know so we're not on a, on a religious campaign we're in a campaign of righteousness and to promote healthy relationship and a platform of yashua hamashiach yeah and that's the deal that once you look on it you take it away nations and kingdoms nations and kingdoms nations, nations and, and, and kingdoms. kingdoms and the artwork is about that people trust me and when you buy the album make sure you get the lieutenant signature on it yeah 
shoot me attack so no bother me Study the world without any apology If you could never jump in and me call me protected by the angel like a police academy Zero me zero is no game like Monopoly No book a cool no Peter Pat no black jack for me When the most you hold the mic in from my double PG right I me no business to shut them half here and I me But the church full of what? Too much hypocrisy The mafia for rule and control you follow me Gospel every preach and I sing at them for reason to put on your name like black and scholarly Mouth up like first class at the economy In a people life a cause a tsunami True the people deserve Christ man be served so not I shut me up you can't warn me True, yeah It might offend you but I didn't choose 